Hello Lola's. So welcome back to my channel guys. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel by clicking the subscribe button and also click the bell to be a part of the notification squad so you know what's happening right now. I'm trying to get this Fanny Pool out of my system. <laughs> So you guys are being flooded, of course, with videos of him, pictures of him and all that. And then he will go quiet for a while because he will have to be rooted. So it won't be any more pictures, it won't be any more videos. And then voila, once he have edges, yes, baby gotta, yes, baby gotta have edges. So once baby have edges, um, we will be able to see him fully together and all that great jazz and then um um you'll see more pictures of him and of course then I'll flood you guys some more and then he will get sold <sighs> I don't know I just keep telling myself keep telling myself you got enough boys you got enough boys you can do this you can do this anyway guys so um, I wanted to talk about everything that's going on right now. Not really. I really don't want to get into the doom and gloom topics as I know we are being bombarded with all of that stuff in our personal life and the doll world. Everything is just becoming doom and freaking gloom because, um... I don't know. It's just, it just is. Look at him with his passy. I'm going to show you guys. He takes his passy like really easy. I love. I didn't put anything on it, but I should have, but it's okay. But he takes a full pacifier, which is wonderful. Hello, Lillian. Please do that with the rest of the babies as well. Um, cause Vivi could not get a full pacifier and oh my God, I'm so happy. I was so scared he wasn't going to get one because of his little tongue, but he does. And he looks so cute with a pacifier. That's one of my favorite things. So one of the things I forgot to tell you guys in the last video about him, um, is that he does not have a drink in wet. Um, he does have elbow armatures. You guys probably could tell that by, you know, me moving his hands around and stuff like that and they move very nicely um he's the soft silicone but he's not overly soft he's not noodly soft he's perfect for his size and yeah and he wrinkles you know nicely see how wrinkle 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 <laughs> and um he has so many different expressions when you um like depending on how you angle him and all that great jazz but anyway so what I was going to talk about is I know a lot of people are concerned because um you know the doll shows are getting like one doll Rose has been canceled for 2020 um IDTS has been postponed which for a lot of us equals canceled and the reason why I say that is because when the dates change um a lot of us had already planned. I know for me, I'd already had a schedule that with, you know, worked it out with my counterparts at the office and make sure that our schedules coincide, our vacations for the year. You know, um, a lot of us can't be out. Well, not a lot of us, but we can't be it. What I do, I can't be out at the same time as um, someone else. So um, we'd already arranged all that. And so... More than likely, I won't be going to any doll shows this year. So that, you know, you know, like I said, it's a big bummer. But, um, you know, hopefully it doesn't hurt them too bad. I really love the show. Um, just really hoping that, you know, people, you know, are patient and kind. But at the same time, it's all about how... You know, they handle this situation as into how it affects how people um, book in the future. Um, because, you know, people got some people got a lot of money tied up. I'm just trying to take some of this light off him so his color isn't so washed so you guys can see him a little bit more. 
Um, a lot of people has a, have a lot of money tied up in the shows. However, what I did find interesting <clears throat> is that, um, hang on guys, I see a top off of something and it's irritating me. What I did find interesting is that a lot of people are now selling the babies that they had up for the show. Oh my God, I just want to take his picture like this. Can I take his picture? Um, and um, they are selling their babies that they had um, available for the show. However, one of my friends told me, now this is hearsay, that a few artists actually said, well, their babies have actually um already been sold because they were sold already kind of pre-sold before the show and i thought uh hmm okay i always kind of saw that and thought that that happens but um you know like i said you know it's it's kind of interesting just simply because um, let, let's see what him without, I mean, his mouth is so cute. Like he's so cute with a pacifier and he's so cute without the pacifier to, it's a struggle to know which one you want. Anyway, let me get back to the story. So a lot of people pre, some, not a lot of people, some artists had already pre-sold some of the dolls or a lot of the dolls that they were taking to the show. So I don't know if it's to make their table look sold out or, you know, in the end, or just to ensure that they got sales to, you know, assure that they're not going there for nothing. I don't know, but it's kind of a little sad when that does happen, when you go to doll shows and as soon as you get to the table and it's the first day and they're like, oh, that baby is already sold. Oh, that baby is already sold. Oh, that bag is sold. Oh, that, 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 that hat is sold. That is sold. And you're like, but the show just opened like five minutes ago. But yeah, so... There you have it. I guess that explains how that happens. Um, but yeah. So anyway, but the good thing is, is that, you know, this year it doesn't really affect anyone. Um, because there's apparently not going to be a show. So, um, as sadly as that is, um, I don't know. There are some other little side shows that, you know, individuals might be having. That people may still have or something I don't know um, about those shows I just know about the two main shows most people you know talk about the uh, Rose and IDTS um, the Florida show and Utah show type thing um, those are the only two shows that I've ever been to so but I know there's some other pretty cool shows that people go to um, in different places I think Kansas is one um, I don't know where the other ones is, but I uh, don't give me the lion. But um, but yeah. So he's getting all snuggly and warm. <laughs> um, look at those little piggy wiggies. <laughs> they look. Can you hold your feet. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah. So. Um, but I thought that was interesting. But anyway, beyond that, um, you know, just trying to stay safe, um, during these times and uh, trying to be well and, you know, and just, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. Okay. Oh, look at those little piggies. So he, like I said, he's, he's very flexible. His head does fall back. Let's show you. His head falls back and he, you know, he's, he's, like I said, he's, he's soft, but he's not noodly soft. His neck is very supported and all that jazzy, jazzy wazzy, which I, I don't, I haven't had a baby that, well, I don't know. I've had babies that's been really soft, but I actually, the softer, the better. I don't know. I just love it. But, um, he's a good soft. Or even a new mommy would be able to handle him. Right, Finny Pooh? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so in love with him. I'm telling you guys. Y'all better hope that I don't be like, Oh, I can do this. I feel like I'm giving away one of my children. <laughs> um, so yeah. 
is this light like so on him? I'm like, it's so crazy because it's like, I don't want him to be washed out, but I don't want him to, it to be so dark that it don't show his true color. But that's why you guys have to follow me on Instagram so you guys can see him and his pictures. This little fist always at that angle. I don't like that angle. I like it that way. Okay. I'm so picky and there's so many little corny things about me. See, so yeah, I pulled it over this way. Because <laughs> I'm a mess. Yes. <laughs> um... Let me tell y'all something. It is just real quick before I get off the video. Um, when I was painting him, one of the first things I did, like after maybe one or two layers, I was like, start playing around with his lips. I was so anxious to paint his lips. Like I really probably would have been okay. I start painting his lips and his tongue like almost first. Cause I was like, then I was like, okay, I don't need to do that because what if, you know, he gets a different color and lips don't match. So I was like, okay, but you know, that's the beauty of being able to paint by yourself, for yourself, and just have a complete freedom because things with silicone can go really wrong and it can get very scary, trust me. And I don't know, I sometimes I just have that fear of it being with someone else's baby. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, but um, so yeah, so I, I really am, I, Man, I'm telling you guys, I am so torn and conflicted right now inside, but I know what I have to do. I have to make up for, um, you know, all my other babies that I have. So um, he will more than likely be sold unless, I don't know, you girl, you hit jackpot or I get that, that, uh, you know, get a fat check in the mail or something. Somebody be like, don't worry about it, boo-boo. Like, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with me. Like, I see one YouTuber, they, people will pay for the doll, tell her to keep the doll, don't worry about it, keep the change, sis. You know, buy the baby, send the baby back to her. Like, am I not good enough? My edge is not straight enough? Am I not cute enough? Like, I was just like, then I thought, okay, maybe... <laughs> Maybe I could just start me a GoFundMe <laughs> so that I could pay for a fin and keep him my... Okay, I'm being silly now. Anyway, no. Seriously, though, um, I I really, really love this baby, and it is going to be very challenging. Um, but I am trying to get in a, in a zone to where um, I can enjoy the babies that I send out and seeing other mommies enjoy them babies that I created like um there's certain mommies that show their babies all the time that I've painted for them um and I know um I talk about Kaysen a lot and that's mainly because he was the first and only custom that I ever did and his mom just so in love with him and then it just you know I don't know it just hits differently and um I've, I'm just like oh I, I can maybe I can enjoy being on the opposite side of it but Guys, I would be doing so many videos, so many videos with him. I'm telling you, if he was mine, um, I'm trying not to get too attached. But girl, what? We might be having a feeding video, child. Listen, honey, the baby got to eat though while he here, right? So ain't no harm in that. Can I get a whoop whoop? Y'all tell me it's okay. Tell tell me it's okay. I am fostering him. He is supposed to be loved while he's here until he leave. Correct? Okay. So I'm gonna try not to. Um, Hold him up so that he can get the matches and so that he can be cute and ready to go. Hope he has a head full of hair and he's just not overly head full of hair though, you know. We don't need no, you know, hair all the way down to his back, but you know what I mean. Hopefully, hopefully he's he's gonna be cute, cute, cute when it's all said and done. Get him some little baby lashes. Mm -hmm. Girl, listen. All right, guys. It's time for me to check out here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Again, I am a fan of yours. I hope you're a fan of me. If not, I love you anyways. Peace, and we're out. Wait a minute. Peace and hair grease. And don't forget your merch.